All right, well, welcome back, everybody. My name's Andrew, and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So, this was not a video I intended to make, and uh, I guess I owe all of you an apology. So, I'll, I'll start this by saying this is not going to be the normal videos. Actually, I plan on this being the last type of video like this ever, but uh, I do need to apologize. Apparently, I worked some of y'all up with a recent video. So if y'all watched a recent video, uh, if you're in the outdoor community on YouTube, there's some things going on right now with YouTube to where some channels are getting demonetized, potentially going to get deleted. No, nobody really knows. So I put a video out uh, just a couple of days ago, actually yesterday as a matter of fact, because I was starting to get a lot of emails, comments, and concerns from you, the viewers. So I kind of felt like it was the right thing to do to put out my thoughts on it um, and, and let y'all know what was going on. What I did not realize and what I did not intend to happen was a lot of people got, you know, worked up about that. It, it, actually, some of the comments started really going off the deep end and kind of took me by surprise. Started getting really political and just, just everything else. And that's okay. I'm not censoring nobody. I don't ever want to. But this channel's full intention's always been about good things to me. You know, let's let's educate, let's laugh, let's cry, let's uh, let's just let's just do the country life. That's what this channel is about. Um, we, we want it to be educational. We want it to be happy. And I want you to leave in every day enjoying a video. I don't want you to leave worked up. So, I personally chose to delete the video that I posted yesterday because it it pained me to see people getting really worked up and upset. That's never been the intention of any video that I post on YouTube. So I want to put that out there. I wasn't censored. <laughs> YouTube didn't delete that video. They didn't take it down. I chose to. I want, I want y'all to leave my videos happy and wanting to come back for more. So I wanted to put that out there. As far as what's going on with YouTube, um, I did a lot of reading yesterday. I went through their entire rules and uh, guidelines, etc. And I feel a little better about what I found, but there's still a lot of uncertainty. So just a quick update. We have an outdoor channel, The Kelly's Outdoors, uh, where we do hunting, fishing, catch, clean, and cooked, which are extremely popular videos on the channel. And it's some of those type of channels that are starting to get impacted across YouTube. So the more I got to read, and I think I may understand why and feel a little better about the situation. And, and just to put some of y'all at ease, in YouTube's guidelines, it clearly states hunting's allowed. They talk about fishing, all kinds of stuff. Where I think the problem could be across platforms is once you decide or once you choose to put ads on your video and join this YouTube partner program, you're agreeing to abide by their rules and regulations. So whenever they put ads out to a company or sell an ad package, the, some whoever the company is that's advertising doesn't wind up with their ad on something that could be gruesome or uh, affect them or impact them in a certain way. And I'm wondering if that's where some of the problem is because whenever I click to put ads on a video, it, it'll it ask. I'm already supposed to know the gu guidelines, but then it'll ask, is there, you know, farms content in there? Is there sexual stuff? I mean, it's, it's got a list of things and you have to be honest about that. And um, there's actually different breakdowns for hunting and, and firearms and things like that. It, it, it is what it is. It's the world we live in, so let's be honest. So I'm wondering if there could be a problem there across uh, YouTube as a whole. Maybe people not flagging things correctly. But the good news is, in the guidelines, hunting's allowed, fishing's allowed. Basically, they don't label catch, clean, and cook. But for example, here's a weird thing. Fish and crustaceans is completely different than, say, a deer. Fish and crustaceans, they seem to be a lot more lenient on. It even talked about you could put full uh, ads on a video, but it has to be not gruesome, not gory. I get that. Y'all got to understand, there's people from probably three to five-year-old children up to grandparents watching these videos. Not everybody may want a child to see gutting and skinning of an animal. That's kind of more for parents to teach children in a way. That's just my view and opinion. So I'm wondering if that's where some of the problem is, but it's weird how they break down fish and crustaceans as more lenient than other types of animals. So the more I've read the rules and regulations, I'm still gonna have to be careful, especially on our outdoor channel about how I post things, but I feel a little better about moving forward with certain types of videos. Um, it's just up to me, the creator, to be very specific about how I label things what I put ads on, what I do not. Now, the cool thing is, if, I, if I'm questionable about a video, it sounds like I can still post it. 
I just can't put ads on it, but at least I can still get you the content. Obviously, I can't afford to do that for every video. It's not the way this thing works, but uh, I have no problem with putting videos out from time to time, especially on an outdoor channel, that if I feel questionable, it could impact the channel, just don't advertise on it at all. No big deal. At least I can still get you all the content that you're looking for. So I'm really glad I went through all those rules and regulations. Um, sadly, they're open to interpretation. That's where us as creators have to be very careful because somebody at the headquarters somewhere could interpret that rule differently than me and your channel still could get impacted. But this video wasn't to educate y'all. It was to apologize. I should have never put that video out yesterday. I didn't mean to get anybody worked up. Um, some people made comments to the point that, hey, I'm conforming now or I'm censoring. That's not the case at all, y'all. Y'all got to understand, I now work for YouTube. You, you go to your job, you start breaking rules, you start saying what you want because you feel that you have the open right to. Say what you want to customers. Don't wear the PPE, but like I said, break those rules. Let me know how long you have a job. It's the same thing here. There is a wide range of people all across the entire world that watch this platform. We all have different views and opinions and we all see things differently there's got to be a set rules and regulations. Now with that said, if we ever feel like things that we truly are passionate about are really getting infringed upon, hey, we may have to make a decision on how we move forward, if at all, with this. I don't feel like that's the case at all. We haven't been impacted on either channel. I'm gonna watch the outdoor channel very closely, um, be very careful about, well, what I mentioned. I'm not gonna just sit there and gut and skin an animal on it. I, I kind of start, I'm starting to really feel like that's where some of the problem was. But again, this video was just to say, no intentions to get y'all worked up. This is not the kind of content that I plan on posting on a regular basis. Actually, I'm never gonna post a video like this again if I can help it, unless we do get impacted. Then I'll uh, update y'all because at the end of the day, this isn't just our channel, this is your channel. That's the whole reason we make it. So uh, we, we wanna make y'all happy, but we fully understand that everybody's got different views and opinions and no matter what I post, it's not gonna please everybody. But the whole intent of this channel, educational, happy, that's what we want to do right here. So this is a Thursday. I'm about to go ahead and pump this video out, explain why I deleted yesterday's videos. We're going to move on. We're putting this, this junk behind us. And we're going to go back to life as normal, making you all the content that you want to see. Like I said, I typically don't post on Thursdays, but I'm already rushing to get another video out. I'll post one this afternoon. The good news is I've got my tractor back. I've done put food plots in. I've got mowing that I'm actually doing right now. I took a break from that to make this video. I've been working on the house. We got electrical going. I got the HVAC guys coming in. Uh, so we'll have one of those videos for long. And I've got the homemade ice maker up there running right now. I'm testing a few things on it. I've already gotten the majority of that video uh, edited. I'll finish that up, have that out by this weekend. We got a smorgasbord of content coming out. Again, we want to make content that you want to see, not these type of videos right here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you for the support. A lot more coming on the channel.